today we're gonna test a, a large FPV quadcopter. The company named Gearbest sent me this one. You can visit them at gearbest.com. This is the VL uh, Toys Dragonfly 2. It's Q393A. This is the 5.8 FPV version with the FPV camera and a FPV screen. It has also a 2 megapixels camera with the 720p. And the, you can fly it with Wi Fi also. And it has this. Uh, you can flip it around, of course. It have, uh, it's base about it's 455 grams, so it's heavy. So I think it's stable in uh, outdoor. Propeller is 23 uh, centimeters, oh, and big. The LiPo battery is uh, two cells LiPo, 2600 milliamps, and 20C. Oh, that is great. The quad quadcopter measured. 50 centimeters, so it's quite big. Okay, so let's open this. So the box is very big. I'm looking forward to open this. Wow. Okay, you can see a manual. Oh, it's Chinese and in English. That's that's great. And fast, I can see step by step how you gonna bind this quadcopter. And you can see what feature the stand speeder have. It's how this emergency uh, stop. Oh, you can push these two buttons at the same time, and then the quadcopter will stop. Of course, I think it will fall to the ground, but you, <laughs> you can, uh, you can find it. Yes, and this uh, low, uh, high and low rate switch, push once to have uh, high rate, and once again to have low rate. And this roll button, of course. And have this takeoff button. So we push this, the quadcopter will start, and then you give a little throttle, and then the quadcopter will, will climb, and then it will hover. It has an altitude hold. So it, I think it will be stable. And you have a headless mode, and this a key return. It's not a GPS, so it, it will not return. I've tried it before, and every time. The quadcopter wants to return to China. So I do not know if I dare to touch this button. And here we have on head, under head. I think it's the, you can tilt the, the camera for the quadcopter this way only. And turn on off the camera, long press. Okay, easy transmitter. That's great. And here, okay, cool. We have the battery indicator for the battery in the quad. That's great to know. And you can see how fast you are flying. And you can see the transmitter battery. And high or low rate settings. Your flight time. And the trim of course. And how high you are flying. Okay. Left hand mode. Okay. That's very cool. Looking forward to try this. And the regular how to use and how to fly and safety. It's a short little manual, but I think it's I think it works for everybody. And this is the circuit board. How things are connected. Yeah, first I can see this propeller as savers. I normally do not use this in small quadcopters, but in this one that is well, half a meter big, I want to use this because the propeller is 23 centimeters. Oh! Hmm. 
Oh, this was heavy. This is the heaviest quad I ever tried, I think. 455 grams, and that's quite heavy for this uh, quadcopter. Therefore, I think it's stable. The battery is, of course, big. It's 2600 milliamps, two cells. And this also functions as an on off switch. Just do it like this, and the quadcopter is, is on. Okay. That's good to know. Impressive. Then, here we have these propellers and spare propellers. And they are, they are arrows that show the direction if you do not know about this pitch. So, I think in every engine you can see an arrow, what way the engine turns, and then you put on the right propeller. It has, it has to be the right propeller or the quadcopter will crash. Then, USB charger, not for the battery, but for the FPV screen. And the antenna and micro USB reader with the 4 gigabytes SD card in the package. And then you have these thumb screws to attach the screen to a transmitter. And I think it's very easy to mount this. You just look at the engine. It says this way, I turn off these called spinners, and then just one way to put on this propeller. I want the propeller with this sign. Okay, like this, and just click them in place it has to be easy mm. yes of course like this and then just screw on the spinner or what you call it propeller nut like this oh propeller is is big so, then you put on these prop savers, just click them in place, like this. Okay, I'm gonna put on the rest now. And there it is. <laughs> it is uh, it's a quite big quadcopter. Yeah. Nice, looking forward to try this. <laughs> it's really heavy and says on the top Phantom X I okay and it seems really solid <laughs> and light under and over of course so let's see how this is attached I think this uh, it's like this it's very easy you can see camera how is oval so the camera can turn a little up and down not much but little then so kind of gimbal I think it would, uh, will absorb some of this <laughs> quadcopters sh shaking and movements yeah antenna and you have slot for the F slot for the mini SD card So, like this. You just slide slide it in place. I think maybe it, you can insert the cable first. 
into the main board like this then slide the camera in place yeah then you are ready it's no <laughs> it's not so hard to uh, to assemble this uh, quadcopter okay so now we're gonna look at the transmitter and this is the charger I have the EU type this one and this is we can also <laughs> the, the, the charger balance the battery but Personally, I do not like this charger. I do not like these batteries. I like to charge my batteries in my computer charger, B6 charger. But this is made this, you cannot put it in the wrong way. Just this, just this, plug it in the wall. And I think the charging time is about two hours or something. Okay, let's look at the transmitter and the FPV screen. This is the transmitter. You need to buy, I think, four pieces of AA batteries. Okay. I know I want to fly uh, FPV, so I just open this hatch. It's a hatcher. Oh, not a hatch, but oh, this is uh, for mounting your. If you want to fly with Wi-Fi, with your cell phone, your mobile phone, you just smart. Take your phone and just click it in place. Smart. But I want to use the FPV, FPV screen. And to mount the screen, you just uh, Use this one and click it in place and you use this thumb screws there we have it Gonna fly, fly like like this. Yes, let's uh, find some batteries and turn it on. And the quadcopter is very easy to uh, to bind. Just insert the battery, give for full throttle, and throttle off, and then you have bind it. And this button. You switch between high or low rate and with this button you can roll this or loop this uh, quadcopter and if you push these two buttons at the same time and hold it's an emergency landing if you feel you have to land or crash the quadcopter immediately and with these buttons you can steer the cameras, the camera up and down, tilted. And long press, you turn on off the video recording. Okay, kilometers per hour and the altitude, the flight time recorder and the altitude. Okay. So, and the regular trim buttons. So I think there is no, nothing much more to say about this. I really like the design, the shapes. The controller is, the size is perfect. It's so great to, uh, to handle. But uh, look at this. This is have to be great. So I, I really like what I see. I hope it flies 
as good as it looks. Hmm, let's uh, go outside and try it. It's one problem in Norway, it's spring and the wind is pretty hard, it's strong. So it's not the best day to test this, but in this week it's the only day I can test it. So I have to go to the airfield and try to fly it now. So strong wind. Little jello on the picture. You need to adjust the little jello, so we need to. Uh, Balance the propeller. So even in this wind, it seems stable. I just want to land it because it is hard to fly this now. It was even hard to land this. <laughs> 